space has no limits. You, yes you, can become a 3D expert in just nine minutes. How might you ask? Well, it's easy. In just a few simple steps, you will be able to create this simple animation. Do you think you can handle this tutorial? Then buckle up your seatbelt. You're in for a long ride. Actually, it's really simple. <laughs> Emoticon. Hello YouTubers, thank you for watching my latest tutorial. Today we're going to work on advanced animation. So first thing we would like to do is create a composition. And we're just going to use the default settings and press OK. Uh, next thing we'd like to do is to create a solid. And we're going to animate this solid in a 3D space. Now I haven't quite told you how to make a solid yet, so let me um, help you understand what a solid is. A solid is uh, just another layer that you manipulate to create um, certain effects like particle effects, or random things that you like to create, but in order to manipulate these things, you'd have to have some kind of item, whether it's a picture, a video, or a solid. Uh, so we're going to um, go to Layer, click on New, and click Solid. We're going to make our solid, let's we're going to make it red, okay? And we're going to make our solid size 150 by 300 pixels, and that's going to make it look like a card, or a skinny card. Uh, and we're going to animate this um, card to flop on, um, from like in your face like it's falling down onto a table okay so first thing we need to do is animate the or change the anchor point to 300 on its y-axis and that will drop the the anchor point down to the bottom of the card because the card is 150 by or uh, it's going yeah it's 150 by 300 and the anchor point always gets put right into the middle this would be 75 by uh, 150 so now I dropped it down to the middle of the uh, x-axis and uh, the bottom of the y-axis at 75, 30. We're going to go ahead and take this solid, move it right back to the middle of the frame. Uh, I'll leave it right about there because I want to leave a little bit of room down here for the card to lay down. And now let's go ahead and start animating it. Um, we need to put it into a 3D space. And like I had mentioned last week, um, you can click this here for motion blur. Now you can also do the same thing for 3D space. Um, by clicking this box right here. So we're going to click that. We're also going to click the motion blur. And remember, just because we click this doesn't mean motion blur actually works. We have to click this icon to make sure this whole layer or composition actually recognizes motion blur. Now, the key ingredient that we're going to have to use here is orientation and position. Okay. So the first thing we'd like to do is move for 10 frames. And we're going to make a keyframe for our orientation. Uh, and we're going to make a keyframe for our position. By, if you select on, this, on the layer and press the letter P, it'll automatically bring up position. So press the stopwatch for that as well. And now we have set a keyframe for position and orientation, and this is the start point. Now let's click the, the letter U, and it's going to bring up all of our, or it's going to take you back and then press U again, and it's going to bring up all of our keyframes that we currently have on this layer. Let's move over 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to be at the 20th frame. Now we're going to want to animate this on the x-axis, uh, kind of like flopping down like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, click on our x and type in 90 degrees, and then boom, it's dropped down to the floor. And we need to animate our um, position a little bit so it can kind of feel like it's falling like off of a shuffle. But a small... Um, a small animation, nothing too huge, nothing too drastic, where it's like flying all over the place, just something really, really simple. So what we need to do is go to our Z space in our position, kind of shift it back a little bit. Uh, I want to say maybe uh, 50 degrees. And we need to raise the position on our Y axis just a little bit, about so. All right. And now let's watch it from the beginning. Boom. Boom. All right. Now, I like that, but I have a problem with it. You see it kind of raising up rather than dropping. So what I'd like to do is find a way to bring this Z space down just a little bit this way to negative 50. So it looks like it's moving forward. It kind of felt like it was moving backwards. Boom. And what we're going to do is we're going to 
drop the the position down the Y space just a little bit down to 380 sometimes you got to play with these things to see if it makes sense and there we go we found our happy medium boom all right so now that we have that dropping next thing we need to do is now just create duplicates of this layer and just uh, layer them um, in an, a certain order to where they all fall one after another so how do we do that we go to our layer and duplicate and what we're going to want to do is now take this layer and put it underneath of the original layer this red solid is going to be our first layer it has to be our first layer because it's going to be the first card that people see the second layer we need out we now need to change the color to let's say uh, we're going to choose um we're going to choose like a fuchsia right here that's okay and uh okay and now we've changed the color to fuchsia or magenta as it says here and we have it positioned behind the red solid but if we animate it this way you can't see it it's like it's almost invisible so what we need to do now is actually move it in the timeline a little further if you click the the layer inside the timeline and actually drag it over you'll see that it'll actually move um however many seconds or frames you want to move so we're going to go to the first the first second right there and now we're going to take this frame and actually match it up boom all right now here's a problem we don't quite see it um, until we get to the first second so what I would like to do is actually take this and drag it over the front and drag it over just enough to the first keyframe there you go okay now anytime you create a layer uh, and specifically a solid or a picture um, you can always extend the length of that layer longer than the composition or you could just move it around uh, it's your choice but um, it's, it's, it's a lot more easier to use than a video. A video, you can't extend it longer than what the video is. But a picture in a solid, you can. So all we do is just make the solid longer um, just to fit where the first uh, keyframe is. Now let's see how that animates. Boom. Boom. Now here's the fun part. You see here, once the magenta pops down to the red, it disappears. That is because this red solid layer is still above the magenta, and they both reach the same um, coordinates, which means we now have to raise the the magenta layer um, in um, in Z space or uh, in Y space, just so it could be right above the red. So let's go ahead and click uh, the letter R, and let's raise our Y space or. No, we don't want to click R, sorry. We want to click position. So click the letter P. And we want to raise our Y space up just a little bit to make it seem like a stack of cards. And then boom. Now let's see how that animates. Boom, you see that? And that's basic animation at its finest, or advanced animation at its finest. It's really easy to work with. It's nothing too complicated. But that's working in a 3D space, uh, and I can show you how you can see that in a, a different camera angle as well. But um, that would require, you know, um, some additional techniques that uh, I may not be able to go over right now because it'll take a little longer. But if you have any questions on how to animate an object in 3D space, uh, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, I'd love to help you out with, um, you know, simple tricks that you can learn to, you know, animate something. It's really simple. Uh, animation, is it's nothing to it. It's just uh, continual repetition on whatever you're, you're making and whatever you're doing.